गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स होप यू आर ऑल कीपिंग फाइन टूडे आई वेलकम यू टू माई फर्स्ट ऑनलाइन क्लास आई होप यू विल बी विथ मी टिल द एंड सो लेट एस प्रोसीड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू कैन सी अ पिक्चर इन माई हैंड एंड in the picture you can see circles five circles five balls five rings whatever you want to say first of all we see the blue circle then we see the second circle with black the third with red the fourth with yellow and the last one is with green if you notice you can see the circles are all interact with one another do you know what it means this is friendship you and a boy when you all become true friends when you all go here or there you all catch your hand your friendship is deep so these five countries they have a good friendship in in the country so now i think you already know about this and i am going to teach you about the olympic game let me tell you a little more about this flag the olympic flag has a white black ground with five interlaced rings in the center blue yellow black green and red and it represents the five continent of different countries the the six colored appears of all the nations flag of the world at present so now let us go to our text and see what is written the olympic games is the biggest sports competition in the world the olympics are held every 4 years in a different host city more than 200 nations sent a total of about 13000 athletes to compete to more than 30 different sports the first olympic games were held in greece almost 3000 years ago the modern olympic games started in 1896 and then have been 31 olympic competition since then now we can see that in the text the biggest game is the olympic games it is held after 4 years and more than 200 nation joins in this various games it was first olympic games were held in greece so from this text we can find out that in the world it is a very famous game that is worldwide so now i will teach you from this matching question answer true false and competition first of all let us see the board first match column a with column b column a city almost 
डिफरेंट टोटल कंपीट ऑकर एंड इन कॉलम बी वी कैन सी नॉट क्वाइट नंबर टू अ लार्ज एंड इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म एडेड टूगेदर नॉट द सेम टू हैपन टू टेक पार्ट अ पेन विथ अ कॉन्टेनर we already know what is the city so we can join city with number number 2 city a large and important town almost almost why not quite different varies not the same the two things are not same total added together i want the total amount total added together compete to take part compete to take part occur to happen i think you all know how will you write this answer because i already have taught you in the previous classes now we will go on to the second one that is read the statement and write true or false boys sometimes y'all write the true answer but read the question properly again i read the question write true and false not correct answers a olympic games are held every 2 years is it right i do i know you all know the correct answer so this first statement is false b 200 nations participate in olympic games no more than 200 nation participates in this so b statement is also false c the asian game is the biggest sport competition no the biggest sport competition is olympic game so the third statement is also false let us go go to number go to d modern olympic games began in 1896 yes many years before the first so the this statement is true the first olympic game was held in greece yes it is true now we will see number 3 answer the following questions number a we can see a when were the first olympic game held in i am sure that y'all will be y'all all know this answer b how many nations sent athletes to the olympic games y'all know more than 200 nation sent athletes to the olympic games c what is the biggest sport competition in the world as in the first line i'm sure you will all manage the the most they are the olympic game is the biggest sport competition in the world who are the host of olympic who are the host of olympics different cities are the host of olympics different cities 
are the host of Olympics. Number E. What is the Olympic game? We already know is a kind of a sports game. So we can write the Olympic game is a sport competition. My dear students, I again remind you, you don't have to write the question, but you only have to answer the question by writing the answer in full, not in short. Now we will go to number four. See, write a short composition about your favorite game. At least five sentences by answering the following questions. See, it is related. This is a game, the Olympic Games. So, I think it is quite related with the Olympic Games. Now, we have to use, we have to take help from these questions. What we are going to write in our composition about a what is your favorite game maybe you like swimming maybe you like badminton maybe you like uh, cricket you will write accordingly what you like to your choice how many how many players are needed to play it if you choose a game, football game, if you choose a cricket game, I know you know how many boys, how many people you need to play in the game. See, what things do you need to play it? I know if you are playing bat, if you're playing a badminton, you need a bat, racket, you need a shuttlecock, etc. If you want to play a football game, you need football, you need nets, etc. When do you play it? When do you play the game? I think not school hours, after school. So, I think in the evening or in off days or in holidays. When do you play it? Why is it your favorite game? There are many games, but why? Why did you choose this game? Boys, remember that we are writing composition. Although the questions are given, you will not answer it according to the questions. A, B, C, D, E. We will not write that, but we will write just it and in a pattern. So, I think Today, the lesson I taught you, you are clear about it. And if you fail to understand it, when school opens, I will help you. So, today, this is the end of my class. Boys, I know you all are spending a very bad time at home. Now, I request you all to stay indoors to listen to your parents and be, give time to your books because you'll have uh, exams in front of you. So now again, I pray that you all keep fine and meet you in next class. Bye-bye.